For this year's edition of various others, we are showing the works of Japanese-born American painter Kiko Saito. We are on this occasion collaborating with James Fuentes Gallery from New York, who is currently overviewing the estate of the artist since he unfortunately passed away in 2016. We were interested in, in this type of art because it's a kind of theatre oriented uh, work. What he did was he was in the performative sphere, so he went uh, on to work for the La Mama Experimental Theatre. He did stage designs, costume designs, um, sort of lighting designs, and uh, later he went on to work with very renowned uh, American um, theatre directors to create their own theatre productions, which were very heavily also influenced by uh, Japanese traditions and Japanese theatre. You can imagine the process being a process that involved his, his whole body. So the canvas lay flat on the studio floor and he would use his whole body to kind of pour paint on the canvas to remove the paint and it has, it almost has had a dancely aspect to it. He was also interested in, in the letters, but uh, like for him as a Japanese artist, he, he couldn't, at the beginning, he couldn't talk English and therefore the alphabet was far from him. Also the science, like for us, the uh, Japanese writings, the written language is uh, for us more like a picture and uh, the meaning comes after. This is something that the alphabet work cycle really plays with. For him it was yeah, a formal analysis of the English language and kind of reflected his in-betweenness between Japanese culture and English culture. We unite um, works from very different time periods. So the earliest work that we have is from 1980, and it goes through 1997 to the early 2000s, and um, the last one that we have is from 2013, so rather early work. It's a whole lifetime of practice, and you can also, in the combination of works that we are showing in the gallery, you can also see how during his career and during his lifetime, he really explored different ways of applying paint to the canvas and explored with his style and his technique.